Football Fun Fact. Did you know that in Europe, most carousels turn clockwise, while in America, they usually go counterclockwise? Well, now you know. It's straw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Hi, welcome back to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Fall Time Edition. It's Fall Festival Week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things you might see at a Fall Festival. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a carousel or merry-go-round. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, I'm going to start in the middle of the paper and up towards the top here. I'm going to draw the top of the carousel or merry-go-round. I'm going to draw a canopy, like a tent kind of a shape here. Curves out on each side. You want to start off drawing light because we'll change some things as we go. And if you start off light, it's a lot easier to get rid of the lines you don't want. Okay, so it comes down about that far. And then I'm going to draw um, an oval shape that wraps around. Something like this. Okay, we can start with a curve down below and then you just kind of make it wrap around the end. Again, do it lightly because this will change as we go along here. Okay, and then I'm going to um, make the top part of the carousel. I'm going to slant in just a little bit on each side and then make a second curve that goes along the same direction as this top curve. Okay, there's a central part I'm going to draw that and all the works would be inside of here as well as the um, what makes the music okay and then down below I'm going to make the same type of a curve that I have here and this is for the base and it can be a little bit wider than the top part and it comes up and then it's going to go around this central part here This is where the horses are, or whatever type of animals are on the carousel. But a lot of carousels have other animals besides horses. Okay, I'm going to add some thickness to this platform. So I draw a second, a vertical line here, and a vertical line here, and then a second curve down below here. I think I want to do another one below that even. It could be a step to get up there. So I curve around here like that. And then I'm going to make just another uh, vertical line on each side and a curve down below that. Okay, this part here needs some supports to hold it up. So I'm going to draw one on each side. I'm coming in from the edge just a little bit and draw a vertical line that goes down. And it's going to go inside this platform space. So it overlaps this back line, comes down here. I'm going to go ahead and draw a second one right next to that. And I'm going to make this look a little more decorative before we get finished with it. But for now, just a simple plain line. And then a curve here at the bottom. Okay, I want to do the same thing on the other side. Now I can actually slant that in just a little bit. Just like that. And I could have done that over here. Um, in fact, I think I will. I think I'm going to go ahead and change this. The nice thing about drawing lightly, you can erase things and then redraw without too much trouble. So, just like that. And curve down below. Okay, so here's supports on the left and the right. I'm going to put one right here in the center. And of course, there would be one behind, but we can't see that. So, I'm going to put a support right here and put a curve at the bottom like that. Okay, so this is the basic 
um, design of the carousel. Now I'm going to go back and add some, some more details. First thing I want to do is go up here at the top. I'm going to make a little flagpole up here. So just two thin lines in a curve on the top, or a circle on the top. And then I want to make it look like there's a flag that's waving up here. So I'm going to make a line that curves here and goes down like that. And then we make a second curve below like that. And this flag is waving, so um, it's going to actually I'm going to draw a slanted line back from here. And then a vertical line, short one right there. And I'm going to start about halfway down on this edge. I'm going to make a line that comes out here to a point. And then it's going to come down here and connect to this bottom corner right here. So this makes it look like this flag is waving in the wind. I'm going to go ahead and draw some uh, divisions. Usually on this part here there's some panels and they slant in a little bit. I'm going to start with a line straight up and down here and then I'm going to go out a little ways and draw a line that slants in from top to bottom towards the middle. And I'm going to change the contour of this. I, now this one I already did have the line slant in. This one not so much. I'm going to change it just a little bit and make it slant more. And then I want to put one more line over here. So we have these different panels that go around the sides of the carousel. Okay, up above, I'm going to and darken this line just a little, a little bit and make it more like straight between these the two segments. So it's going to be more of a, a straight line like this is a separate panel and this is a separate panel and that's a separate panel that go around. I can do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to slant this down just a little bit, pulling this line up here above. And then this goes across straight from one point to another. This is going to slant up to the right just a little bit. And this slants up even more to the right over here. Just like that. Okay, at the top of these, there's going to be a curve. Just a not a real high curve, but it's a piece of wood that's decorated six up above. I'm going to do that between these two pieces here too. These two lines across this piece. And one over here. Now this is going to overlap the edge of the tent, and actually that fits in with what we had before. So I'm going to have to change something on the end there. I'm going to erase inside of that. Okay, and actually I want to make another curve here like it's going back behind the tent. Just like that. Okay, on this side it curves up like that. And then there will be a um, another curve right back over here, curving down behind the, the tent right there. Now on each of these panels there's an oval and you can put a really fancy painting in there. I'm just going to kind of put an oval to represent where that would go. A lot of times they have different scenes on them. So I'm going to put ovals in the center of each of these panels. Or it could have mirrors on it. It could be a mirror. And notice this one here, it slants the same way the top and bottom do. This is more straight across, this is straight across, and then this slants up to the right. And then we'll see partial one here where it slants up to the left. So like that. Okay, now this, this canopy has stripes on it, and I'm going to start where these divisions are and curve up to the center. I think this one will go down. Same idea though. Oh no, curve up here. Okay. So like that. And then this one curves here. Okay, I'm going to work my way down. Actually, before I do that, now you can color this in later. I'm going to go ahead and use, just do some shading to show a difference in the color of these stripes. You could pick two colors and make them 
alternate. Okay, maybe just a little bit on this edge. Okay, now these poles, I said that they were kind of decorative. Um, what I'm going to do is put a curve and then start here and wrap out and make another curve and just keep doing that all the way down. So it's almost like a twisted rope or a, just a it's it's got a twist to it it's a decorative decorative support this side they curve out and out to the right between segments same thing on the other ones I curve from the upper left to the lower right and I start about here where they intersect and then curve out and down and I do that over and over again just repeat that same line Okay, I want to darken these lines a little bit. I probably shouldn't do too much because we're going to be putting some horses over the top of this. Um, but I can go back and finish that in later. Uh, the base, it would be safe to go ahead and darken the base. The edge of it, the outside edge. I'm going to stop though on the, and not go inside here yet just because of, there'll be things inside there and go over these lines at the bottom as well. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit of shading here. On this bottom portion, I'm using the, the side of the pencil instead of the end. And I'm just, for now, I'm just doing the upright sections. Now I want to add the the horses and I'm going to make these going counterclockwise so this would be in America. I'm going to start with the back leg here and curve under the body and then go down. And then the back leg, I'm, I'm going behind this pole with the back leg and I'm trying to position it where it, it can see most of the horse it's not hidden, uh, but you can still looks 3D because it goes behind this the support pole here. Okay, I'm going to go up here. Then I'm going to make the the head. This is going to be just a very simple, basic horse, and you can add if you don't want to do horses. Like I said, you could do tigers, or I've seen dolphins on these things before. I'm going to race inside of here. All kinds of either real creatures or mythological creatures. You could do any, pretty much any kind of animal you would want to ride on. <laughs> okay, that's the tail sticking back here behind the pole. I think I'll go ahead and shade that in too as well. And I'm going to put a saddle. Of course, you have to have a place to ride when you ride these things. So they have a saddle built on. And saddle horn up here, and some stirrups. And for this one, I'm not going to put anybody sitting in the saddle, but you could draw somebody actually riding it. Put the ears of the horse up here, and the mane. And usually, these horses are really fancy the long hair and lots of pretty colors. Okay, I want to put one eye here, the bridle, and the, the bit, the reins coming back here like that, nostril. I'll go ahead and shade these hooves in on the end of the feet, or end of the legs, shade the hooves. And then I want to add another leg beside that first one. A little extra dimension there. And one to the front here. Okay, right now the horse is just jumping through the air, so I need to fasten it down. So 
I'm going to put a pole right here in front of the saddle. And this one I'm just going to keep fairly plain. I'm just going to make a darker line. It comes out down below here. Just like that. So there's one horse from the side. Then I'm going to make one over here that you see from the front. So I'm going to come over here and make, I'm going to start with the head from the front. And put the bridle there, a couple of nostrils, the eyes on the side, some of the hair sticking down right here. Now from the front, I'm going to draw the body just as a like an oval or a curved shape, and feet sticking out right about here, hooves on the end. I'm going to keep it fairly simple, like I said. So there's basically the horse. Now I want to make the pole that goes down through the middle here and up through the back, just like that. Okay, on this side, you don't see much of it. I can draw a little bit of a curve here, maybe um, some ear. But if you could see it, maybe the pole, then you draw what you could see over here on this side. So this is, this is how much I'm going to have as far as the animals go. And then I want to put, a lot of times there's kind of a sled or a bench in here that pe the older people can sit on and ride with their kids or grandkids. So I'm going to start with the back of this bench. I want to make it look like a sleigh. It's going to actually overlap that horse a little bit. So I'm going to curve down like this. Actually, I think I need to start over just a little bit further. Allow myself some room. I'm going to curve right here. And then I want to make another line that curves down here. And the very back of it is going to curve around just like this. Like that. Okay, the bench comes, the sleigh or the bench comes this way. And then the front part is going to curve around like this. And then we're going to have two lines that slant off of this. Just like that. And a curve right here. So it's almost like the horse is pulling the sleigh, but not quite. Line down here. And then this connects right here. And then inside of that, actually let's do the outside edge. There's an opening right here, like that. And then it connects up here like this. Okay, there's a bench right here, a seat. Slant there, just a line that follows this line here. And then the back edge is going to slant over like that. And I'm going to darken this so you can tell where the seat is just a little bit better. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I could put part of a seat maybe showing up over here, underneath, back behind here. You could give a hint that there's a another seat like that in between these two next two horses. Might even shade that in just a little bit so you can tell it apart from things around it. Okay, so that's that's what I'm going to put on here. Now you can put other things on here as well. I want to finish the inside part here, darken it, now that all the lines are where I want them to be. And I'm going to shade in the central column. Okay, just like that. Now, of course, you can... Uh, clean up your drawing, any stray lines, things that you don't need, don't want. Um, you can go back over lines that you want to keep. Add color if you'd like to. And this is our drawing for today, a carousel. Well, now that you know how to draw a carousel, think of another fun carnival ride that you could draw. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, 
Do a little drawing every day. That's beautiful. Europe, America. Europe, America. Europe, America. <laughs>